Okay. Morning. <laughs> so, oh, I am sore today. Oh, good day yesterday, though. Got to go out and skate and all that. This, this is the long dark. Tales from the Far Territory. Now, we haven't gotten to the Far Territory yet. This will be Tales from Timberwolf Mountain today. I think the plan... The plan will be to go, um... Check out the cave, the lower cave. And I don't know if there's loot on the other side of it. I think that there is. I better go get that. So I'll probably be spending a little bit more time in this cave. Um, that being said, the priority is to get out there and do things. I'm sure that the weather will pin me down in the cave at least a little bit. We're going to leave the rabbits, the little frozen bunnies, in there. Maybe we'll add to our count. Perhaps we'll get a bird or two. Um, but that's not priority. Priority is to do the exploring and um, perhaps repair a hacksaw. We'll see. One of these crates that we break into might actually have more tools. We might have better hacksaws. We might have all that stuff. So that will maybe come into play. So we're not climbing the rope yet. We're not going to make the summit yet because I want to get the things on the way up. We're right next to them. It makes sense to do it now. So I guess I'll do that now. <clears throat> so if I remember correctly, the weather is pretty cold gonna take a look at some of the things I have here so I can drop a few things here we got a backpack for that too which is cool I like having a backpack so let's start with the things I won't be using right away those books can stay I can pick up some of this tea on the way out that being said same with the coffee I'll keep like one glass in case something bad happens I don't feel like I need all of my food, so let's get rid of... I have, like, rabbit back here. So all of this can stay. Everything that's... I don't know, from here on. We'll bring the water, of course. Did I get rid of my coffee already? Oh no, there it is. Blind. I have become... Um, I think we had a hatchet? We don't need that right now. We will need it for the rabbit. We're gonna need this because we're going into a cave. We might want that because there's wolves. Where did I get these? See, I don't need this right now. So our hatchet's at 69%. That's good for a few more uses. If we want to repair it, we'll take that. But maybe not right now. Same thing with the metal. The metal goes wherever that thing goes. Um, oh. We have another storage container. <laughs> Keep forgetting. It's there. I know it's there. Um, in case we do have to start a fire, I'm going to bring the cans with as well. I can break these down later, though. We'll probably find some sticks and some coal and some firewood in the cave. So let's go ahead and drink some water. And then, yeah, it's time to get out there. The weather's not super great, but it's not so bad. I'm not really going to prioritize any of these plants. I don't need teas. I have everything that I need so far. And when we come back to Timberwolf Mountain, because I'm sure we'll just want to see the views. Yeah, there's birds right here. And that is not the tool for the job. Although... Has anybody killed a ptarmigan with a flare gun yet? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I wouldn't be the first. Okay, I'm getting pretty close. See, at this point, I wish I had the um, fire-hardened arrows. Oh, come on, mouse. Don't do that. Oh, no. oh come on. Okay, no birds for me today. Not a great start. That's alright. Let's pick up two stones. I don't know where the other ones went, so I see these ones. <laughs> Maybe they'll come back. 
Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll go over this way. Yeah, maybe I'll see them some other time. Oh, I thought I had it lined up. This might not be the best way over. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my crampons on. Yep. It's uh. All right, we made it. Back to the installation. Um. All right, moving on. Wait, are there birds up there? Do birds spawn up there? Birds spawn over here? I guess this is more of a crampon thing too, isn't it? Can't turn down a chance at redemption, right? I don't think I need my crampons for this part. But if I roll my ankle, I guess I'll be a little bit <laughs> angry. There might be sticks up here, too. I don't want to goof around out here too much, as the temperature is dropping. I feel like this is super responsive. Should I blame that? Alright, no, no birdies up here. I think this is better. I think my mouse was a little bit sensitive on that first throw. Not that I can blame it, because I already lined up my shot. Like, I did line up the shot. That was all my aim. Where am I hearing these crows from? Alright. We've got a little over half our temperature left. We've got a few sticks to pick up here. Um, I don't know where these crows are. You guys seen any crows? Not seeing any crows. I hear them. They're getting stronger. Oh, there they are. I don't think I want to go that way. Yep. That's not for me. Somebody else can have that one. I'll probably check that area out on another visit. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's sticks. I knew I'd find sticks. I don't think there's ever, th ever anything really back here. Is that a climb? No. Alright, half our temperature gone. I think we're still alright. I'm just gonna visit this little area. I don't know if there's loot back here ever. I don't usually go this way. There's a, there's a rope climb. The heck? Where does this go? Oh, I'm not familiar with this. Okay. Okay, we are headed down there. And actually, this might be a good opportunity to... Look off the edge of the cliff. Oh, this is, um... <clears throat> I know where this is now. So this is kind of where we're headed. I wanted to go down here. I don't see a wolf right now. So there's, um, shipping containers out here. The temperature is getting better, but my heat is dropping. Or has already dropped enough. I'm gonna get a move on. We do want to head that way. I could go down that rope right now while oh, there's no wolf there. Dang, should I? The temperature's not that bad. It's a climb, though. And it's kind of a high climb. That's a lot of energy. I don't want to waste that energy. We're going to take the other way there. And I know a little bit more about getting there from that direction. So, yeah, I want to do that. If 
Oh, oh, that's a footprint, not a stick. I can't pick those up. That'd be something if you could pick your footprints up. I don't know why you would, but... To preserve it like an archaeologist. Like a paleontologist. I don't know if archaeologists care about footprints. I guess they would. Like, if they found, like, boot prints from, like, the Roman Empire or something, I, I bet, like, the Roman Empire, like, marching through some place with, like, a clay-type soil. That would be something they would preserve, right? Alright, yeah, we're still losing heat. Um, here's a cave. Hey, we're gaining heat. Yay. How much? Nothing. <laughs> But at least we're not losing it anymore, so... A win is a win is a win. A nice torch? A hundred percent torch? They never got to use it. There's an improvised knife. It's at a hundred percent. That's pretty cool. And we've got some storage containers. And a book on fire. Was that fire or cooking? I guess there's one way to find out. Revive the outdoors. Yeah, this is the fire book. That would... That's... That's nice. That might actually be, uh, how many hours are left on this? Yeah, I think this might be priority to get that red. Um, yeah, still not gaining any. I don't care. The fire place can store the charcoal. And this can store some extra stuff. So, what is extra? This 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 now these um all those yeah probably all those um those let's go with reverse alphabetical i think i want to keep all these torches that would be cool the improvised knife can go um Pick that up on our way back. And that's it, right? That's that's all the things. We're going down. I can get rid of that. No. I'll want it with me. Yeah, I'll, I'll want it with me. Because where I'm going to try to warm up is in the cave. And I might be headed there right now. See, the time is about noon. It is about high noon. Not that you could tell from the sky, unless you're a survivor. Franklin. Start on tomorrow for Bax Fish River. Okay. I don't know where that would be. Is that what's down at the bottom of the ravine? I don't know if there's a river at the bottom of the ravine. There seems to be a corpse up here. I think there's a deer. Yeah, we're losing too much heat. Boy. Yeah, it's a deer. And there are some feathers. Was that a wolf? Jeez. There's no bear here. That being said, that's still kind of scary to hear. <laughs> Good morning, Noble. How are you doing? <laughs> I think I need to warm up in this cave. So... I could do that. Um, and there's things to loot in this cave. I don't have a fire yet, so I guess we'll use our lantern. Okay. Uh, left is right. Anybody else go by that, um, that motto when you go into a dungeon? Use the old, uh, maze-solving algorithm of just turn left every time. And then when you get to a dead end, turn around, or take two lefts, however you want to say it. Alright, I'm not going to take that one. That one go up. That one's the that one's the final road. I've already identified it. 
All right, we're back to the start. Actually, I think this is this is shorter. So we'll backtrack. I think we just made a circle. And there was one more path before we go up I wanted to check. And it was... Well, now it should be on the left. Yeah. So that wasn't exactly an algorithm. <laughs> now we'll go up. Yeah, I had a, a complex algorithm because I recognized that we had already been that way. Can't help it. We're almost warm already. That's cool. How crazy can we get this lantern swinging if we just like... Oh, I gotta make a choice. I guess left is right. Oh, this is the dead end. A branch and a fur limb. Fur is a pretty strong firewood. Arguably the strongest firewood in the game. I don't know if that means strongest smelling, but it does burn for a long time. Oh. Oh, there's a body over there. Okay. There's a ridge there. Then there's this thing. Firewood, and then I guess we'll. Oh, there's like a piece of coal in the fire. I almost missed that. Another one. Okay. All right. What do you got for us? I mean, we're not over encumbered. I guess I'll take that spray paint back to the uh, cave that we were at before. There's some firewood. Oh, that firewood. I'd rather have, have another. If you get that reference, mind blown. Nobody is going to get that reference. like 10 years later when the internet researchers be like, you're talking about that? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, back down. Because we're warm, and the thing I want to deal with is down this cave, not... Okay. Well, I'm already here. I'll deal with that on the way back. We've got some daylight. I'm not sure where this goes. Wait a minute. Was that more coal? No, that's a stone. Premature on that. There, I can turn it off now. Did I turn it off? We're in the middle of the animation. Okay. I do know where I am. How much... I have carry weight. It's actually sunny. Let's start a fire right here. Uh, Anywhere, anywhere. Maybe here. Let's use a stick. Did I grab not a single stick? Really? No sticks. Whatever, I'm gonna grab a stick. But there's a stick around here somewhere. There's one. There could be a wolf nearby. I think that's a rabbit, actually, up there. I hear a howl. Um, I think the best place for a fire is actually right here in this little thing. That's protected from the wind on a couple sides. So as long as it's not too much of a hill, maybe here? Yeah, the perfect spot. Or at least a pretty good one. There's my stick, fire. I could take the rabbit, throw it in the cave, pick it up on the way back, as long as it doesn't disappear on me. But uh, that's not really... Like, it's hard to turn it down. It's hard to walk by it. Because I am going to need food as I search this area. And I haven't seen a whole lot yet. Although we did bring some with us. I'm just going to go for the... Oh. Well, then I didn't need the sticks. No. Rabbit on the way back. 
It's not priority. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a torch. Because I'm pretty sure there'll be a wolf over here. Yeah, there's a rabbit down there. Maybe more than one. Yeah, I see two rabbits. Let me just... Alright, where's the wolf? Is he visible? I might just grab some of the sticks from over here. And maybe I'll scare the rabbits closer to the cave. Like, run, bun, bun, run. Go. Go that way. Okay. Well, that's better. I think I'm going to put some more wood on that fire. So I have like half an hour. And then I'll hunt these rabbits. And put them back in the cave. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty sore from yesterday. I went skating for like, we had a, like a full day of skating. So that's a footprint, not a stick. But yeah, we had fun. We went uh, on a little bit of a trip. Drove like an hour and a half to get to this place I don't usually go to. And then we stayed like the whole day out there. Not dead yet. Okay, that's probably fine. I'll just leave that there. All right, let's see what we can do about these rabbits. Um, so there were two. I'm gonna try and get that one first, then the one that's over there. This one's the most risky, and there's usually a wolf hanging out somewhere over here. So if I can get this done now, and then I'll just put him in the cave, and then I'll go for the loot. Okay, so I can hit rabbits, but not birds. That's the consensus. I'll take my stone. I take my stone and I go. I'm not gonna run. We need our... We need our wakefulness today. We'll be alright. In fact, there might be birds over there. I can try again. Today's not supposed to be a hunting day, though. <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to be. Oh, I can leave it by the fire. No, 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 no. I'll leave it in the cave. Oh, have a good day. Okay, just gonna drop our rabbit friend here. And I don't know, really know why I'm carrying this, so I'll drop that too. I'm realizing that I risked uh, the rabbit not being here when I walk into the cave like that and then back out. Yeah, I don't know if the rabbit's still here. But I guess I'll grab the sticks that are over here. And there might be a storage container this way. But there's only half an hour on that fire. I'm going to try and grab a few sticks. There might be birds up this ridge. I think I remember hunting some a while back. But if I can get that, it might be time to start running, though. I want, I want redemption. <laughs> for, not, for missing that bird earlier today. Are there any birds over here? There's a limb. I can take that and there's sticks. So if there's not birds, there's at least fuel. Yeah, I don't see any birds, but that's okay. There is another container I need to get to. There might be some feathers by that deer. So let's take a little quick peek. Oh, dude, there's an arrow. Broken, but hey, that's a free arrowhead. I don't see any other... I don't see any feathers. But there's two attached to an arrow. So when I break that down... Alright, hopefully, if I go back this way, there is a rabbit. And I need to pull a torch before that fire goes. Well, I don't really. Not if the weather stays clear. But 
but the day is passing quickly. So there's a there's a rock over here for a rope climb, but it's missing a rope. So maybe if I go back to the cabin, I come this way and give myself an easy way back up. That might be a good idea. Are those rocks or is that... Yeah, I think the rabbit went away. I don't think we're going to get that second one. Darn, should have got him before I went back in the cave. <laughs> he saw what happened to his friend. He said, I'm out. Well, we got a ton of sticks. That's cool. Wait a minute. There's something bouncing along this hill over here. He might actually be... That might be our rabbit. It's close to the fire. I'm hearing that wolf again. I think it's ass. <laughs> Change directions right as I started aiming. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll get a stone when I come back. Let's check the fire super quick. I don't know how much how many minutes are left on this thing. Yeah, not many. <laughs> not many. Six. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I'll take a torch right now. If I can. Alright, so I'll drop the second rabbit off in here as well. This time I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Alright, there. We've got those guys. I kind of... Let's see if that fire's still going, because I'd like to pull a few more torches. Because this process might take a minute or two. Alright, let's drop some of these sticks. Alright. I can grab five. So I've got, I've actually got five rabbits too. Uh, back of the cave, so that's seven total. We'll see how this one's doing. Hey, we're still alright. Okay. <clears throat> so I can only carry six more kilos of whatever I get. I mean, without being over encumbered. Risking it. The temperature seems to be improving. We're only at negative one now, so we're not losing... We're not losing our heat that quickly anymore. Yeah, I don't know where that wolf is, but I guess we're all right. He's probably right where I want to be, huh? So the reason I'm heading this way on this beautiful clear day is I believe there's some loot just over this hill. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. I'm going off of memory here. Let me go ahead and grab these sticks and see if there's any firewood in this burnt out tree. Okay. Wait. How'd I miss that? Alright. I might want to get a new torch started before I attempt to saw this thing open. 24, that'll do. Alright, so we have our hacksaw at 69%, so that'll probably put it at 59, I think 5% per, per door. Ooh, we got food, okay. It's that dry food too, that's that light food, that's that, that's that you can carry all this food. Oh, we got some heavy clothing, okay. Alright, well that seems to be all of the loot. Oh, we'll take our torch when we go. Pack it in, pack it out. Alright, so that's that side. 
Um, there is another side to this. And we do have time, so I'm gonna go for it. As long as we have firewood. And the weather is cooperating. Because I'm already here, and I can just go to the cave and make trips afterwards. So, that's not a big deal. And the rabbits... We'll process them when the weather's worse than this, because it's really nice right now. In fact, I might even start heating up in a, towards the end of the evening. That being said, I do need to drop some things off in the cave, or around the cave. Because, uh, we're carrying too much. All that clothing weighs a ton, dude. I wonder what's up there. A mystery for another day, perhaps. I'll just leave this here. I'll catch it on the way back. Fire's out, but that's alright. We've got torches. Actually, if we wanted to make sure we had fire, I could just build a fire in here and put enough wood on for it to last, I don't know, three hours? That would cover us. I'm also, that would reduce carry weight, and I have, I think that's worth it, have a guaranteed fire in the cave. Let's start with the sticks, because we have a bunch of those. Yeah, this is worth it, and I'll still take torches with me, because I'm probably going to run into that mystery wolf. He's, if he wasn't where I was before, if he wasn't where I thought he was going to be, he's probably where I wanted to be, like next why am I saying in the most convoluted way possible All right, three hours that's what I want can I get it I'll just use all the sticks there we go perfect not gonna worry about cooking anything these guys are happy to be in the cave uh, I need to drop some stuff off let's see <clears throat> I'll drop this here too since now I have fire and it's guaranteed uh, let's drop these books I'm not gonna be reading down there we can drop this uh, I mean I can drop that <laughs> I'm gonna lose that let's put that by the fire at least um, I guess the clothing can go here I don't think we got anything better than what I currently have. I could wear this instead of the bag, but that seems wasteful. We got some old-fashioned parkas. Those are really nice, but um, they're not better than the military coat or the flight jacket. And then that's it. The only other th thing I picked up was a ton of food. So I'm going to drop that off. Wow, that's what I got. If I need anything, I'll just eat a bag of chips. I'll drink some water right now. My torch burnt out. I probably have a couple of torches. I'll drop it off outside by the other one. Um... Okay, so I'll throw this on there too. I'm going to take a few more torches. That's probably fine. And then was there anything else I'm dropping off? Anything at all? I think I'm taking everything else with me. Yeah. Oh, this can cure while I'm gone. Alright. That should be everything, though. Let's go see if I can't get a little bit more loot before the sun sets. Weather still looks nice. We're still losing temperature, but not very much. Maybe not at all. No, minus two. 
It's actually colder than it was. But... I'm fully warm now. We're pretty darn close to it. So... That's not a problem right now. I got three hours to go get this loot. Um, and my carry capacity is starting to go down. I might also want to switch to crampons when it comes up to the end of this uh, ridge. Because I think it gets pretty steep. But there should be some more storage containers. Or one or something down there. That's that's the goal. <clears throat> and then all this loot, I think I'm just going to try to put it back to the, the one cave we're at. And if I need it, I'll go find it. I don't know if I'm going to upgrade any of my gear. It would be nice to get, I don't know, one of those expedition parkas. Yeah, here it looks like it gets steeper. So we're gonna switch. So we can get a little sure-footed bonus. And hopefully we don't sprain anything. So there's another rabbit down there. I'm not super interested in this one because I have to carry it a long distance. The reason those other rabbits were so enticing is that they're so close to the cave entrance that I don't really risk much by knocking them out and just like transporting them. These ones I'd have to carry them all the way along there. Okay. So I'm probably not going to grab these rabbits. If I wanted to, I could knock these rabbits out and cook them on the spot, but I don't. I don't want to. Uh oh. That wind probably means my torch is going away. Sigh. That's alright, we have a fire back at the cave. We only need to make it... Yeah, there, there's a wolf over there. Pretty sure that's a wolf on the other side of that hill. But we'll take these sticks. I guess we'll get a torch ready. I mean, a, a flare. There's acorns. Not my top priority. There's also a climb here. Okay, we're losing temperature fast now. But I think we can still complete the mission. Because what we want is over there. I'm still going to go for this. That's a lot of acorns. Oh, here they are. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a corpse here, too. Okay. I guess that takes priority. Oh, he's got a hacksaw. He was trying. I wonder if any of the doors are already opened at all. He had a flare. Actually, that's the one we'll switch to. <laughs> uh, how is it? It's better than the one I have. 84? Okay. Well, he didn't make any progress. But where he failed, I will succeed. That's actually super loud, isn't it? Water. I think we'll leave that behind. We'll see how much we can carry. Four, four compartments is a lot. I hope one of these is light loot. If one is boots, I'm going to be just like pile of clothes in the wilderness. Okay. Oh, wait. What happened here? Oh, it's on the other side. I, I can do it. I can figure it out. So the marine flare is the blue flare. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. We're actually not over encumbered yet, so... I guess we take everything. If anything, we'll leave the water behind. Uh, more upper body garment. I think we're alright. 41, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. So the marine flare, I was talking about that. Um, it's kind of just like the normal flare. I think it's blue instead, but um, it doesn't last as long. I think it's like half the time. I haven't ran the numbers on that. 
but it feels like it's about half the time. So it's less likely that you're going to be able to use this and then like start a fire, like get somewhere else and start a fire. But it has the same effect on wildlife, like it'll scare a wolf away. As far as I know, there's there's no difference, it just doesn't last as long. Where'd that rabbit go? I mean, I wasn't interested, but now that I know I can carry it. Oh, he wasn't sure if he was dead or not. He had to think about it. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, that's not the way. There we go. No, that's not the way either. There, that's the way. And now we're feeling pretty heavy. And cold. Is he coming? I don't think he's coming towards us. He looks like he's standing sideways compared to us. I think we can still sprint. Technically, I could spend the night in the cave and just get my uh, stamina back, or even just spend a few hours sleeping and then start going. As we get closer, I think he's gonna catch our scent. I don't know if he'll find. I don't know if he'll follow us up the hill though. I'm kind of glad. It seems like the wind is coming from the right, and so this wall is now blocking that. So I'm not freezing as quickly. It's a blessing in the skies. Oops. If there was ever a time to use the misquote, it would be if the, the blessing is the wind itself. Watch there be a bird here now. No, no luck. Take this though. He's still howling, which means he's not in pursuit. And now we are cold. Did the wind shift? Or am I just too far from that side now? Oh well, I guess we're gonna freeze a little bit and that's okay. I haven't heard anything from the wolf. And that might mean he's actually trying to get to us. He's gonna be a little bit quicker than us kind of dragon butt. <laughs> oh. So the sky is changing color a little bit, but I don't think that's necessarily due to an aurora or an impending impending aurora. I think it's going to be a clear night. All right, we're now losing health. We are now running the risk of hypothermia. But I'm still not gonna run. I want my carry capacity. I might be greedy, but... I do want one more rock. Where's my entrance to the cave? Ugh. I'll get a rock in the cave. I guess I need another wolf howl. I think he's over there then. Yeah, I don't know where this other wolf is. Maybe he's up that way. Oh, here, I can take one of these stones. Nope. There you go. I don't see anything. Alright, I think after we drop off all this clothing, we're not going to be too bad as far as carry weight. We don't need it right now. The fire's still going. That's good. With an hour to spare. So, what to do? I'll stop these books from clipping because I don't like that. Um, let's drop the clothing off. The clothing that I don't need. We'll come back for it. Um, oh, these are really good tokes. That is better than what I'm wearing. 
That's the best one, looks like. Parka, old fashioned parka. Oh, I could have been wearing that. I'll wear it now. No reason not to have it. Although, since I'm going to be warm, it doesn't make a big difference at this point. So that was an almost identical crate to uh, the other one we found on the other side for the clothing. Alright, so we got one more rabbit. Those are probably priority to bring back. I'll pick them up right now. Alright. This is, this is, this is. I'm... I don't need that right now. Well, no, it's the wind. I can't bring the fire out. And I'll bring the food back too. This is light food. I know there's water we can leave behind. That's also a thing. Dog food. I don't think we had any. Oh, we do have tomato soup we could cook right now. We have this fire. Before the fire goes out, get the get the cooking done. That way we don't have to open it later. Um, what's our can opener doing? Uh, what is our can opener situation? We've got a few. I want to use one of the bad ones. I'll use this one. And then that's one of the ones we'll leave behind. So let's... No. Okay, let's just cook a couple of these. That way we don't have to use it, our can opener later. And potentially we can use this to stay warm. I'll just leave these, I don't know, there. Okay, water can go here. We had a bunch of that. And I guess we'll drink a little bit right now. <clears throat> All right, what else stays? Um. How much time do I have on these? Nothing? Okay. Dang, things cook so fast now. How much time? Nine. I'll take a torch once it's done. Harvest a few of these. I guess wood isn't necessarily priority. And then, also... Alright, these will be priority to take. I can leave the sticks behind, most likely. There's ten coal. We're also... we'll make it. I mean... We are carrying three rabbits. What do I do? I think we leave this behind. Bring one of these with, one of these with. Alright, we're not that heavy now. Did we grab all the rabbits? I mean, the other thing I could do is cook the rabbit right now. And then leave the guts and stuff behind here. I could spend the night here. Dang. That might be the move. Shoot. Yeah, it makes sense just to get rid of it. I can process it right now while I have this. Sometimes... Sometimes you gotta change your plans. I think this is one of those times. So let's start the fire again. Come on. We'll put some of the wood on there. That's less wood to carry. But it's wood that I would have used anyway. So. Perfect. 
I don't need this anymore. I mean... And that's something that I can, I can process with the torches once I'm done with these rabbits. So, harvest time. Let's go for eight. And then we'll just start putting them on the fire while we carve up the rest of the rabbits. <laughs> minutes here. None of those are going to take long. I'll double check the time on the fire. I might want to throw that log on there too. I probably want at least an hour. Don't eat the raw meat. <laughs> 14, 16, an hour. We're okay for now. So let's finish harvesting the rabbits perhaps. Grab a seven. those five minutes uh, let's grab the five then and then we'll grab the seven afterwards and that should take us to the end of the cooking all right and back out do not eat it just drop it all right we can move these on the side we can eat those in the morning they're gonna be really nice um, Alright, let's carve up the last of this. We might be getting close to that hour point. I feel like we've spent five minutes enough times that we should probably check it. Alright, let's drop this. Now. Oh, I mean. Alright, whatever. Let's harvest the guts. Eight minutes, and then those will be cooked. Pretty close to time. We've got two more. 19, 20, nice. Um, I guess then we have enough time to finish this rabbit. Well, I can do all of that after. Let's get two. Let's get the two guts. Yeah, let's get two guts. That will finish that part, and then I can do the 24 minute ones while I'm making some water, maybe. We'll keep the fire going. Okay. I think that's I think that's the right split of time. This 24 is gonna go over on the meat. But I think this is gonna be just about right. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that was pretty close. So we'll put these here, oh, somewhere. And then we can drop the guts, I don't know, over here. Oh yeah, I forgot these can cure too. So let's do the guts here. Let's put this close to the fire. Um, we're probably going to want to lay down a sleeping bag. Let's make sure I can still do that. Somewhere. I mean, it's just a matter of finding a place that fits it. Come on. This is lame. Devs. Devs, please, listen. Whatever, I don't need to sleep right by the fire. Is it because it's on a... Oh. Oh. Trade offer. Alright, fine. Let's do it this way. Okay, that's where that goes. So now... Meat goes here now. This is where meat goes now. All right, let's consider that the fire is going out and we'll put some firewood on there and we'll make some water from melting and boiling snow. And then we've already done that. Let's leave these sticks on the ground somewhere. Here looks nice. 
get those curing, and now it's time to try to harvest all of the hides. Okay, we've got a plan. It's all coming together, and it's gonna be sleepy time after this. So that'll conclude, what, day, what are we on, 43? Okay, one rabbit down. One liter of water, boiled. Do it again. Just surviving out here. Oh, not yet, not yet. Don't take it yet. There you go. It'll reset the timer if I take the non-potable water. Uh, I guess... Let's drop off the water. Let's find a place for the the hides. Then go here. Let's take the last one, and then we'll drop all three. Then we'll check on the water. And it's probably time for bed after that. And then we'll, I guess we'll just lose the fire overnight. It doesn't make sense to burn all of our coal just to keep the fire for the morning. At least it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so these need to cure. We can leave them here. Although, I don't like that place. They fell weird. Let's put them here. Yeah, that looks better. I can at least see them. They're still clipping, but they're not clipping that... You know what? There, that's fine. Everybody's happy now. How much time? 13 minutes? Let's just take a torch. That's a good one. Nice. Put it out. Um, I say we take the cans. So how much are we carrying? Not even that much. We'll make sure to pick these up in the morning. We'll eat some of that. Oh, I guess. Lights out. Um, we're hungry. Let's eat this now. Let's just eat all the rabbit. I don't know how we got so hungry. I guess I forgot to eat. It happens. You ever get so involved with the, your work that you just don't eat? I just had the in-game version of that. Alright, now I need to find my sleeping bag in the dark. So I'll use my eyes, which in this case are equivalent to my feelers. Oh wait, it's still smoking. Then I know it's over here. I didn't even notice that. Oh, now the embers are out. Now it's very dark. I think we go for the full night's sleep. So we'll probably get nine hours. Let's get it. So I'm expecting about nine hours of sleep. We'll wake up fully rested, say mid-morning. Oh, it's sure not very light out yet. It's so dark in here. Did I take that lantern or did I leave it somewhere? Okay, good. Okay, lantern, activate. So that's nice. Um, how much fuel do we have left? Oh, plenty, okay. So we'll definitely grab this. These can stay behind. Last piece of rabbit. Okay, well, at least we used everything. We didn't waste, and that is nice. How much water do I have? Enough. Un oaf. Let's... Drink it up. Um, so we've got all the loot from that area, and we can carry some of it back. So let's prioritize these sticks. Let's prioritize this coal. I could probably get away with... No, I'm not trying to get away with anything. Um, I don't care about the cloth. The water is much more important. But I don't have much more carry weight. But I can move it. We'll leave two liters here for future me to find. But right now, we've made use of all the rabbit that we can. We've got a lantern with some fuel, and oh, let's not fall. So let's get to the other side of the cave. 
I want to go to the other, so the, the smaller cave, the one that had the fireplace and like the backpack storage containers, and drop off all this extra loot, and then there's one more, or maybe two more storage containers, but they're in the same location. They're down that rope climb, but I don't need to take the rope to get there. There's actually, it's actually pretty close to this cave entrance, but we're going to go up the hill first to drop off what we do have. Um, and then we'll go down and try to pick up more stuff. So yeah, we'll prioritize things as we go through that. There may be wolves to contend with. I have no idea what the weather has in store for us. If it's bad, I guess we have books. Um, and potentially some other things to, to deal with, like torches I still have to process. One of these ways is the way out, I promise. There it is. Alright, we'll just try and go towards the light. A little bit harrowing, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I can deal with this. A little bit snow, let some light snow. Not super cold. We got two arrows down. That's going to mean negative eight for us, which is on the low end of two arrows. Like I said, I want to drop off the loot, so we're going up the hill first. Then we're coming back down. Because that, uh, <clears throat> that is potentially where we'll find the equipment we're looking for. Half buried dough over here. We'll save that for a feather farm for later. We have enough food. We have more than enough food. And most of that's going to be left for later as well. And we actually left some loot in this uh, storage container up here, I think, before we went to even into the cave. So, like one of my books, I think. And we could probably drop off another one at this point. I don't want to go all the way back to our main cave, because we're already here, and I'm trying to save time. Okay. So here we are in cave. You'll know this place distinctly as cave. Alright, we've got two storage containers, and we've got some ground to lay things on. We haven't... Okay, this is where we left our stuff. Oh, nice. We have fuel. So now we have these. We'll take one. Um, we can leave one of these. We haven't started either. Hey, when did we get a fire starter? All right, we'll leave one of those behind. Uh, we'll leave this behind. I know it degrades, but we're going to be back before it does. And same with the food. So let's just take the lowest quality stuff with us. And we're not going to need food today. We'll transfer everything if we can. We cannot. Actually, is there food in this one? I'll just take it and we'll put all our food in this one instead. This one holds 15. It's actually kind of nice. Um, but we'll take out the, the water. And just leave it next to it. Um, we'll drop 3 liters. We'll bring the other with us. The other 0.68. And then... A couple of useless torches. We actually have some... We have all these super nice torches now. There's 10. Alright, and now there's more... Gear to drop off. So we actually have an extra one of these. We'll drop the lower one off at this point. Okay, we're not going to need this right now. Let's sort by alphabetical. Okay. Whole bunch of sewing kits. Um, we'll drop off the good can openers in case we decide to open a can. So to speak. 
We'll drop off the good flare. We still got two. We still got the marine flare we'll use as a priority. Because that goes first. Oh, I forgot we had these. All right. I don't know if they'll fit. They do. Okay, I'm just going to leave them there. It's fine. Um, all right, we're only holding 21. 21.99. All right, we're good. Yeah, not fire starting. Not, not a free fire day. But um, actually... It doesn't seem to be too windy. And in case we do encounter a wolf on the way down, I want a torch ready. Yeah, the weather's even better now. Negative six. It didn't warm up much, but it warmed up and warmed up enough for us to only have one down arrow. So the threshold is somewhere between 8 and 6. Well, 6 is for sure only one arrow down, and 8 is 2. So it's either 7 or 8 is the cutoff. Of course, that's in Celsius. So, I don't, the, I guess Celsius is like a decent measurement for temperature in game. I'm not super familiar with it, but, um, but the kilogram measurements make so much more sense because they're like even or they're like rounded to like 0.25 or something like that. It, but... <laughs> converted to pounds if I wanted to do the measurements in pounds now all of a sudden everything is like 1.66 or like you know some odd thing and I kind of hate that because it comes off in like thirds or whatever then it's represented in decimal and I don't know repeating numbers can be a pain in the butt all right, let's take whatever's in here. I don't see a wolf. That's kind of nice. Let's see what we find. All right, more light food. That's nice. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it's nice to have. I'm looking for an expedition parka. Ooh, that's a light. That's light loot. Non-heavy loot. There's actually a cave over there. I might want to just take a look at There's not too much going on new location discovered engine That is an engine Is that a wolf? What is that? Is that, is that part of a oh? That's part of a, a limb like a cedar limb or something I'm gonna check to make sure there's not a wolf over here. Okay, currently, not a wolf over there. The weather's holding up right now. I'm gonna pick up these sticks while they're available. Check this container for loot. That another stick? No. Okay. Let's get into this. <clears throat> this is why we're here. This is the whole point of coming to this map. Dang, I was really hoping for um a really thick like sweater. It may or may not happen. I'm sure we'll find something. Ooh. Fire forever. Yeah, I'm not seeing that wolf, so... Okay, I guess we just roam freely. With zero fear. 
I guess I'll get those on the way back, all those sticks. Yeah, I'll get all those on the way out. I'm going to check out this cave. I don't want to go all the way down. I'm going to try and go back up the way I came. There might be another spot worth checking over here. We have all the daylight in the world. And we still have so much carry capacity after emptying all the containers. We got some really light uh, loot loads. Like, lightweight stuff. Like, matches. Like, um... Oh, he's got a laptop, this guy. What do you got for me? A bandage. Okay. I won't say no. Get some firewood. So this is Chasm Cave. New location discovered. Um... Right. I think there's one more thing to look at down here. Oh, that's a stick. I can't do that while drinking coffee. I'm hearing crows, but I think that's from the same guy that we just saw. Yeah, they're those ones. They're hovering... <laughs> It never makes sense when there's a body in a cave and the crows are hovering, like, above, in the on the ridge above or something. Like, they're not directly... I don't know. Alright, this is, I think, the area I was thinking of. I think. A lot of thinking going on. There's potentially loot here. Oh, there's deer. Oh, there are more crows. Okay. My ears were telling me that, but I was like, no, no, no. I know why there's crows. <laughs> me trying to correct my my instincts, man. Um, so instead of feathers... Oh, wait, there, there are feathers. Yes, the feather farm. The crop has matured. Okay, I'll let him be. I don't know the next time we'll be back here, so it... May have made sense to harvest that guy, but I also don't want to attract predators on the way back. Okay, we have half our heat left. But we're not over encumbered, and I don't know what's down here. So... For science. The view from the bottom of the ridge, man. Kind of wild. Um, so here's a weird stick. I guess I'll go up it, because why wouldn't I? Oh. 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 So all of these limbs are fleshed out. Okay, no nothing up here. Let's see if I can drop down without injury. Okay. Oh, I know where I am. This goes back up, so the bear cave is somewhere over there. The one that we stayed in earlier. And then, I don't really know where this goes. But in the interest of discovery, in the spirit of adventure, let's check it out. We're getting kind of cold, but I think we can warm up either in the cave, or that guy with the laptop, Chasm Cave. We could either warm up there, or potentially at the end of this, there's probably some sort of transition to a different zone. I think this is where this goes, like HRV or something. Hey, Brady's here. Good morning, good morning. I'm on a little bit earlier than usual. Oh, no. <laughs> well, at least it's over. Night shift. Man, I haven't had to... Oh, there is something over here. I haven't worked night shift in a while. I wouldn't be opposed to it. But it's nice being on the if you if you live with somebody if you have like a significant other, it's always better to be on a similar or the same if you can the same sleep schedule. Otherwise, it's a hassle. Otherwise, it's inconvenient. It's inconvenient to have different wake up times. But I did that for years, so I guess it's possible. So should we warm up in this cave? I don't know what's in here. Is this a cave, or do you think this is a pass? Yeah, I can't start a fire, but I do have a lantern on me, don't I? I left it behind, didn't I? I said, I won't need a lantern. Uh, let's go in.
Oh. So this is Ash Canyon. Birdie. Um, I don't see any reason to stay here because it's cold. Out we go. Out we... How do we get back? Okay. What if I couldn't go back? What if I was just stuck in Ash Canyon forever? Oh, the stick I missed. Or a stick that respawned. Yeah, we're gonna stay in this location. It's getting colder. I think we warm up in the chasm cave before we head back. Because I think that's gonna be our warmest spot for the moment. I might use a match to get a fire going. I don't know if we picked up any food that we cook. I don't think we did. So I could either spend some time in the cave reading we don't need sleep. Um, I could pass time in the sleeping bag to warm up quicker. Or I could just read and hope that the weather's good. Because we have enough food. We have a fire source. We have... We have a sleeping bag. We have a water source. We have a ton of food. And we have some things that we can do. We have five hours of books to read. Which way is the... Uh, not that way. Although there are some things up there that might be worth investigating. It looks so bright when I'm looking around here. But that's probably just because of snow. And then I look up and I'm like, oh, clouds. I guess uh, I'll leave the torch out just in case. And this is already the torch that I would want to light to start the fire. This is the, the lowest percent torch. The one that you only get from navigating to the menu. Because if you try and just pull a torch out any other way, you get the highest percent torch. And I have a 100% torch, and I don't want to tarnish it with anything. My perfect, pristine torch that we just found earlier. Where is that cave? Gotta be coming up. Oh, the crows will indicate. Because there is a dead guy there. Who will act as a storage container in case I need to drop anything off? But I think everything ships because we're still not over encumbered. But we are losing health now. I half expected to see a wolf there. We might on the way out. Okay, let's see what the uh, temperature of this cave is once we get deep enough. Yeah, yeah, we're warming up pretty good. Um, Alright, let's hang out here. I think I'm just going to whip this book out and start reading on it. I don't think we need to do anything with this. We have another hacksaw that we stored. We can take this apart. We've been meaning to do that. We might have... Do we have any torches? I think we left all of the burnt torches behind, and we haven't lit another one since. Nothing else to process in that way. We've got 30 sticks. Got four cedar. We've got a bunch of matches. We've got... We got this thing. We have clothing we could rip apart. I don't think that's priority. I feel like we have enough cloth. Let's see what our clothing is. Our lowest percent cloth. Nothing below 60 or nothing below 70%. Yeah, we would repair it all the way to 100%. I want to utilize So this is 74. This one might be less. Nope. That one we'd repair all the way back up as well. Yeah, so we're not interested in doing that. Just double checking. Just double checking before I commit to reading. But I've checked now. And one hour warms us all the way up. So that's just fine. Just gonna pull a torch back out. Uh, we can take a drink. Just to make sure we don't get thirsty. We'll see what the temperature's like. We'll see what the wolf presence is like. It looks windier. Boy, does it look windy. Okay, there wasn't a wolf coming down. But we'll see if one's moved into the area. Uh, yeah. Pretty cold. Negative 14 now. And that's having factored in all the clothing and everything. Not seeing a wolf yet. <laughs> All 
Alright, some more sticks. Pick these up. Oh. Oh, man, walking into the wind. The wind is pretty strong right now. I mean, what is it? Negative 19 wind chill. That's not the worst I've seen. I've seen it in the 30s. But it's still enough to slow us down when we're trying to walk into it. Oh, there's that rope climb. I probably have enough energy to do it. It's just not necessary because <clears throat> there's just this thing. If I was, like, trying to escape a, a wolf or something, I could see myself going up a, a rope climb. He'd probably, like, let me go at that point. But there isn't any wolf. Man, there's been a wolf there almost every time I've been here. I think we're good. Let's just auto-walk it back up. So we don't really want to go to the cave. We'll go back up to this one because it's closer to the main... It's, it's just closer to get to from any other location that we're trying to get to it, pretty much. So... This place is crazy. Like, this would be a stunning place to actually, like, hike around. Like, look at this. It's ridiculous. I mean, the graphics aren't great, but... But the features, the terrain features, come on. Maybe we'll warm up. Yeah, we're warming up in this cave. I might even take another hour to read. Let the wind do its thing. It'd be weird to be pinned down in this cave. But it's kind of warm, right in the middle. Okay, what do I have? Do I have more clothing? Yeah. Okay, let's find a place to drop clothing. Maybe here. So there's that. There's food. I guess I want to bring everything with. I could leave the sticks behind. Maybe those go here. It'd be nice to have them, but I don't need them right now. Take one of those. Uh, what else? Probably bring the firewood with. Oh, where did I put that stuff? Is it all in here? There's more sticks. I mean, all of this is coming with all of the nice firewood. Let's see, what else? I mean, all of this. So that's heavy. Forty-six. All the food, one trip. We're just leaving a little bit of water behind, but we—I think we have water back at the cave. Some torches, some burnt torches. Some sticks, some water. This will be a nice little cache to find later. I think we take everything we have now and we go. And maybe we'll get some second chance Armageddon. I don't know, should I have warmed up with another hour of reading? I think we just go. wind seems to have died down so now the temperature is negative six again that's a little bit more comfy like we don't need to run right now right we're not stinky I don't know what the heck that sound was but <laughs> yeah so we looted we did things um might as well take any extra sticks we find
think we're gonna go that way. Oh yeah, we do still have the rabbits to process when we get back to the other cave, and the hatchet to do it with. I think we got that extra improvised knife, we can leave that in the cave. All of that extra clothing that, that's not a replacement for anything that we have, I guess we can leave that in those caves that we were just at. So that'll be nice to find later. If I ever need cloth, if I'm ever running low, I know that there's a huge stash. And now that those clothing, now that all that clothing is out of their containers, if they degrade to zero, I'll still be able to rip them apart and get uh, some cloth out of it. I think those birds are just gone. I don't see them. But that's okay. We had our chance. We took our shot. And you don't make all of them. Okay, so we've got some more firewood. We left a whole bunch of sticks behind. Um, but those will be nice to find later. But let's go ahead and separate these two piles. So we've got... Let's make a coal pile. Let's make a fur pile. And then a cedar pile. And we did get a few sticks on the way back too. Um, take one stick. Take the one that's sticking out. I guess, no pun intended, but that's okay. Puns happen. So what do we have? Um, wow, we've got so much food. Okay. All of this can come out of here. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, so at this point, I think we make a clothing pile on the back wall. So let's get all the... Oh, okay, it wasn't clothing. Food. Um, okay, I'll drop all the food here. I can't bring all of it with me. There's too much now. And I don't need all of it. Okay. We do want to cook this. So I'll set this aside. <laughs> and uh, this as well. So those are here. So we'll cook those later. Um, we will want to cook all of the coffee. Well, maybe not. Maybe we don't touch the coffee. Also, did we get... Yeah, we've got all our coffees. We got our tea. We got three of these. Okay. Alright, so what to leave behind is the question. I say, let's leave these. Let's leave these. Those low percent chips might be coming with us. Because they're light and they're not going to last forever. But all these bars, the dog food. Some of this has to come with us. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather just decide what comes with us before I start sorting everything else out. So pick everything up again. Put it down, pick it up. Put it, put it down, pick it up. Yeah, I want to decide what comes with us first. What's going up the summit? Um Let's use this box as a way to gauge how much we're bringing. So how how much weight is a good amount of food? The hungry is crazy. Um, okay, so we'll sort by percent. All of these terrible bags of chips are going. This is coming with. These are coming with. All of these are never going to age. They're fine to stay. How much do I have here? So it's... I can carry more than 1.6. So let's bring these. Let's bring all of this. Okay, do I want these at all? 2.9. Now we're getting close to where I draw the line. And we do still have all that rabbit meat to eat.
Because if I'm committed to this, am I also committed to this? Like, am I drawing the line below 50%? So that's all of this. That's like another couple kilograms. No, I don't think so. I think all of this stays. I think we'll bring all of the crazy chips and bars. That's it. So everything else can be dropped and sorted. Like, here. In fact... No, alright. Let's just drop it individually. So we don't make any crazy mistakes. Okay. So now I can sort all that out or I can just leave it in a file. Um, Alright, we can leave these matches behind. We can leave like four of these behind. Um... I guess we bring all the books, because we're going to read them on the mountain, most likely. We can leave a bandage behind. Um, okay, tool time. Time to choose tools. I guess we leave a bunch of these behind. So we'll want one. I can leave one flare behind. We'll just use this one. Uh, I guess I'm not bringing those up the mountain. Nor this. Bring that. Oh, the improvised knife. That's for later. An extra hacksaw. That's for later. We'll bring this one. It's the highest percent right now. Um, yeah, these can stay in here. I don't need any of the feathers. We are bringing the metal. We're going to need that to repair a hacksaw, most likely. And then... See, the other thing is I could bring one of the um, can openers... Or I could rip the can open our part. Because that would be another piece of scrap metal. <clears throat> okay. Um, the other thing was the hatchet. I don't know where that went. Am I carrying it? Yeah. I'm not bringing that with me. But I want it right now. Because I think I'm going to process all these guys. And then those... I think I'm just going to start hacking at it. I don't think I'm going to get a fire started tonight. I don't need one. Which means I'll be eating some of this stuff. Or actually, some of the stuff that's in that suitcase. Okay. Let's just get this carved up. Yeah, and then maybe we'll cook it in the morning. I don't know. We don't really need to eat tonight. We could wait till the morning and see if it's fire time or not. And we've also got an hour or so of sunlight left. And it could come out and we could be able to start a fire this evening. That'd be cool. I would take it. We have some time tonight to just do stuff. Alright. We'll put the .5s in one pile and the larger pieces in another pile. Put that hatchet to use. Okay, that's fine. That was a point eight. That goes here. Point seven seven. So it rounds. The game just rounds it. So there's a point nine. And before the sun gets halfway set, I want to check and make sure that the weather's not better. Before I just write it off as done. Take this piece too. And we've got two rabbits left. Won't take long. Alright, we've got a piece that weighs 0.5. That'd be this one. We've got a piece that's more. Yeah, that weather's not getting better. <laughs> I mean... Let's just do the sure thing. Yeah. Oh, there's a fire striker I don't need. Leave that behind as well. That was... Yeah, I see how I missed it. Okay. There's so many books to read now. Alright, let's get this one carved up. Ooh, 1.5. Wow. 
Let's just take... Okay, how am I going to do this? Okay, it's less than... Okay, we'll go like that. And then we have the 0.5 left. It'll probably... It was probably just less than... Yeah, it says I took 0 0.9. So it was just slightly under one. So there should be another 0.5 right here. I like having it be exact. Yeah, 0.97, so it wasn't quite one. It was just less than 1.5. Oh, this one's just over. See, I have to click the arrow one more time. Then if I go here, this should be like 0.52 or something. That's my guess. I'm guessing it's 0.52. And then this other one will be 0.5. But I'll put both of those in the 0.5 pile, I think. That makes the most sense to me. Alright, that's done. Let's see what it was. 0.53! That was close. That's fine. They're, they're close enough. The weather did not get it much better. Let's see. Try it one more time. Okay. Now we're... Oh, okay. We're just cooling off because we're out here. Um, so it's still better to use the knife for this stuff. I guess we'll, we'll process the gust first. I think we're pretty safe to just hold on to the guts for the moment. There's no wolves super close by. It's never happened before that a wolf's walked into this cave randomly while I was carving things up. And if it happens for the first time, that's a learning experience, and it will be funny. The weather's not changing. That's all right. So really when the animal freezes, other than some functionality, like not being able to quarter it and do stuff like that, not that you would quarter a rabbit, but it only affects the meat. The meat harvesting time is a little nutty. But the guts and the fur take the same amount of time. At least with a tool. I mean, eventually, when we have, like, a lot of time, and we're just passing time, I'll use my bare hands to do some of this stuff. Um. Oh, dang, the weather just changed. That makes sense. We just switched into nighttime. But I think the sky has just got clear. Now. Oh, it's going to be an aurora? Okay. That changes things slightly. I guess I can use a flashlight. Let's see how much charge it takes from 24 minutes. Not that much. Okay, um, since it is an Aurora, I'll be able to read tonight, so whatever that's worth. I don't know how much water I have. I had some soda. Oh, we have like four, four liters? Okay. We're good for now. Oh man, we're losing, we're losing heat kind of fast. I better step back into the deeper end of the cave. But that's where we're going to put these fur anyway, all these furs. 
the pelts. So this is what I'll be trying to eat. More or less. I guess these come with, because I'm trying to cook those. Um... I don't want to sort that in the dark. I'm just going to leave that in a giant pile. It's not yet time to sleep. It just isn't. But I need water. Take that one. I need water before I proceed. To read anything. <laughs> uh, which book was I reading? Was it this one? No? Was it this one? Yes! We get one hour of this done while it's a uh, light out. Eh. Okay, I think it's time. How many calories do I have? Let's see, what would it take? Calorie store. Calories burned. Let's see. So there's probably about seven or eight hours until dawn. And dawn following an aurora sometimes... Sometimes is a clear morning. I might be able to get a fire started for free. But I don't want to oversleep. I'm just going to sleep for six hours first. Because it's nice now, and I think I can handle that. I mean, there's no, there's no saying that the weather's going to stay clear all night. Yeah, it looks like it got cloudy. Um... I'll double check on that. Yeah. I don't see stars. So, yeah, Aurora's over. Um, it got cloudy. Let's just sleep the rest of the time then. Um, probably still want to drink some water first. Okay. Let's finish the sleep here. Where are we at now? Ah, uh, yes. That should do. Just open for a sunny morning. Well, that's not sunny at all. Alright, um, I was gonna... I was gonna end the stream, but I think... Let's just do some things. So... Do it like this. I'll sort my food out, and then I think it's looking like crappy weather. I'm not going out. Um, it's not really worth it right now. So today might be a short day. Today might be a reading day. That's what I'm leaning toward. I don't know if that's going to pan out. Um, we'll see what happens. If the weather gets really nice. Yeah, you think I should play some Rust later? I might. I have um, I have a down day. Basically. Still haven't heard back about work. So that's kind of what drives my decision as far as that goes. At least so far. Yeah, we might try that. I definitely want to do some Smash Bros. today. I think that takes priority. Because um, I haven't done that recently. And that's kind of what I do. <laughs> or at least it's supposed to be. Now, right, right now, this is what I do. But I'd like to play some more Smash Bros. It's just that early morning never makes sense for Smash Bros. And by the evening, people are hitting me up. And I'm just like, oh, things I should do. I don't know. It's all in my head. But yeah, like I said, when, once I once I get that, once I find some work, I guess the energy bar needs to go. Yeah. Once I find some work, I'll have a more regular schedule, and then I can figure out what my stream is going to look like. So everybody knows what to expect. 
And everybody has a reason why I suck. And it's not just a mystery. That's that's the goal. I just want to I just want to be I just want to be like easily understandable. That's the goal really. All these freaking bars. Oh. I just want my vegetarian food. All right, let's see. I don't know how many of these I have, but I figure 12 is probably close. There's one. Oh. Wait, you're talking about on Rust? There's going to be like an event? That sounds interesting. I guess I wouldn't want to miss that. Ah, there was exactly 12. Nice. Good call. Good call, Kit. Good call. <laughs> Alright, what what else goes? I guess we'll start stacking the cans over here. Put the tomato soups all together. Um, soda. Might drink some of that later. Who knows? We didn't really get that much jerky or anything like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let me know. Um, might be down for that. I'm one of the... So, I'm actually pretty far leaning towards introvert. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has been able to figure that out. And one of the ways I deal with like being nervous in a situation is I just talk too much. I talk a lot. And so that kind of makes people think I'm an extrovert. And uh, yeah. But yeah, one of the res one of the things about that is I'm like I I tend to not want to go or do anything like go out or do anything unless I have like some notice like ahead of time I always want there to be at least a plan <laughs> so when there's not a plan unless the day is to like <clears throat> so the, the caveat with that is if the day plan is to go just hang out and do whatever like I can fl you know we can just roll with the punches or do whatever that's that's okay in my book but when it's like somebody's like hey we're gonna go do this in like 15 minutes. I'm like, no, have fun. Um, or somebody's like, oh yeah, well we we're gonna do that, but now we're going here. I'm like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> like it's too much energy for me to replan over and over. When people are like, yeah, we thought this and then that, and then if I'm not already involved with it, if I'm not already there, I'm not leaving the house. I'm just, <laughs> it's not happening. I don't have the energy to deal with that. I don't know what it is, but that's, I don't know. We'll call it a personality defect. How about that? I think that's fair. So what I'm saying is, if there's an event happening, give me some heads up. <laughs> that's all that to say. Um, I respond better to plans. And that's my justification for it, for whatever that's worth. Okay, so yeah, nothing happening today on this game. Um, I mean, okay, it's kind of clear. It's like cloudy clear. Yeah. I don't know, I could move. I could move up the hill and then read until I run out of energy. But I have all this nice food here. I don't know. I have all this rabbit I want to cook if the sun comes out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for it. That being said, I'm going to get hungry fast, though. Darn. I need to eat. And I have all this low quality food. So I guess one way to start would be, I could, I could read, let me read for an hour and see if things change. If the sun comes out in an hour, then I'm golden, like we're good. 
but I'm gonna run out of hunger. I don't want to lose my my bonus. No luck. Okay, we'll stay on the inside of the cave. It was this one, right? All right, I think we can get away with one more. Yeah, when the hunger goes into the red. Any luck? I don't think the weather changed yet. No. Um, all right, just so I don't get food poisoning, I'm going to go for the sodas. I think I can do two of those right now. And that'll hold me over for a little while longer. That fixes my thirst thing, because I don't have that much water, actually. Okay. So now I can read for a couple more hours, and then we can drop a book, which is nice. I'm just kind of waiting for the sun to come out. Alright, let's leave this book behind. I guess we can leave it by the fire. Was it this one? Yeah. Does that improve our skills at all? Not really. I'll leave the book there. The weather looks brighter, but not enough to light our fire. So back to the books. How is our skill doing, by the way? So right now we're trying to improve fire starting. I think one more book will put us over. So I'm going to go for that. Let's see, it's noon now. That's like a key point of the day. It looks bright, but it also looks foggy. Nothing. But it's also not very cold out, so maybe we'll just hang out by the entrance, take in the views while we read for another hour. Because we're not chilling that much. Nothing. Another one. nothing. We're going to be running out of daylight pretty soon, and then I'm going to wrap it up because we're getting close to two hours now. Which I don't think the sun's going to see us today. I don't think the sun will be joining us, but I am going to try to warm up just a little bit more, and we can finish this book without getting too hungry, and then I say, oh, now we got a blizzard. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Hey, fire starting expert. Hooray. I like that. Um, and we got another book to drop, which means more carry capacity. So we'll leave this one behind as well. Maybe put it on another rock. Does it fit? Does it fit? It's on this rock. And you know what? That's just perfect for us. So books on rocks. Um, it's still light. I still have energy. I'm going to go ahead and risk the bad food. Make sure I have some... Yeah, I could probably use another one of these. I mean, there's there's risk less options, but it's so close to dark. I figure we can just risk it. Let's just eat the worst thing. Perhaps the worst thing is actually this. The, the bags of chip are lower percent. They're closer to being degraded. But this thing, man. Oh, what um, what can opener do I have? Oh, I forgot I had these to break down. I can do that next. Just before bed, we'll do that. I don't see a can opener. What's wrong with me? Oh. Right. Let me grab one that's a little bit worse than that. So we'll trade out for... Go this way. We'll trade out for this one that's 60%. Then we'll open our can. And let's see if we get poisoned or not. We've had good luck so far. And that's a can we can leave behind. Or whatever the lowest percent one is. I guess they're all 100. Cool. Haven't burnt anything yet. That one can stay. Um, in fact, put it here. Because if we do get something to cook with, that's what I'm prioritizing. Okay. Um, I might as well hydrate as well. Let me check on my food situation. I think everything else is dehydrating, pretty much. I'm not trying to eat those peaches. So yeah, everything else is going to be salty, dehydrating. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drink some water then to make sure that meter doesn't go down. And then we'll just read as long as we can tonight, unless the sun comes out. Um, and then we go to bed. And that, that, I think that'll be it. So we've already read some of this book. Let's get another hour of it. <clears throat> Still a blizzard out there. No change. I think that's what I'm expecting all night. Yeah, it's not great. But the night is still letting us read. It looks like it's cleared up. It's probably cloudy out. But it's nighttime, so I'm not going to get to start that free fire. That's okay. The plan was that if the sun didn't come out, we read as much as we can, and then we get a full night's sleep. And then tomorrow... We'll climb, hopefully, without any of this these books left. Let's see if we can get away with two more. Is it time for that? It's time for that. Let's finish this book. Please, knight, cooperate. Yes, there was enough light. Okay, we'll drop that. Um, I don't know. Put it over here. Stashed on the rocks. We might be able to fit three books on this stone there we go okay uh yeah i guess we finished the salty food and then hydrate and go to bed i'm gonna need more water won't i yeah i mean not right now but we will in the morning let's get prepared for that let's just eat so let's risk some food poisoning um we do have antibiotics and will we need to use them? We're getting away with stuff today. Let's go. Our hydration's going all the way down, but that's okay. Chips are very salty. Ketchup chips. <laughs> How are we not food poisoned? All right. Another successful night. So, um, yeah, just spent a quick day reading, um... It's time for bed. We're going to sleep until mid-morning, looks like. I'm going to get the full night's rest, and tomorrow is the climb. So we'll see what our weight is looking like. We might want to grab some more food items, but we want to ship... I don't know. I guess one thing I'll do while I still remember is to take a better can opener with me. And then... Uh, I already carved up the rabbits. I don't want the hatchet. That's extra weight. I don't need... Other than that, the last thing I said I would do before bed was rip these apart. That should be easy enough. That'll take four minutes. Okay. So, sleepy time. Let's just put in the full 12. Rest is a resource, so we're not even going to get 12. We're going to get like 8, 9. That should bring us to mid-morning. And the wrap-up is pretty simple, depending on the weather. So we got snow, we're not cooking. This meat remains. I don't want to get pinned down here. We got all the loot we need. There's nothing really else to do. There's nothing important to process. So today's plan is we're heading up the mountain. It does look like potential blizzard weather, but we're not super far from the next cave, and I have enough food that I'm not concerned about getting pinned down. That also being considered, um, I totally have enough room to carry some more food with me, and I might pick a lot of this up before we go. Um, I think we want to prioritize these things. They were all, like, low 40%, and then possibly these cans. These can stay forever. Those, those are fine. Um, I don't know. Whatever's the lowest percent I'll want to take with me. And then we'll leave the rest behind. We definitely want to... We can leave that bedroll. I actually have a better one. I've just been using this one because we found it in the cave and it's like... It was at like 75% when we found it. That can stay. I don't think there's anything else in here that needs to come out of the bag. And there's nothing else that we need to bring with us. So that's fine. We've got a copy or something better. Or we're not using, like, we're not making 
for instance, we're not making arrows because we're using the rifle. Which we also don't have with us, but it's back at the cabin. Right now our only defense is, of course, our handy dandy distress pistol, which I've just been calling a flare gun. Um, we got like nine shots. That's plenty. Enough to scare a bear moose. I think that's it. That's all I needed to go over. I'm going to wrap up the stream here. So, thanks again to everybody who came out. Hope you had fun. I had fun. I'll be back. I might do another one later today. I might do a different stream. We'll find out. At any rate, peace. I'll catch you guys later.